Hi lovely viewers, it's me again your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. The investigations started with an intelligence report of 15 flats having been abandoned in State Lodge. After initial verifications with Ministry of Lands, it showed that the property number was not captured in the system. Further verification with Chongwe Council revealed that the property was sitting on property number F-11031, which number was given back to Ministry of Lands to verify and they confirmed that that property number was on offer to a Mr. Bernard Chituta and that it was a farm based in Kasama. Based on these facts, further investigations were instituted and the daughter to Mr. Chituta revealed that her father had no property in State Lodge. This led DEC to pounce on the flats as they had been abandoned and at which point my team was then able to verify that the property was for a Mrs. Esther Nyawatembo through a Zesco prepaid meter number. At this point, the commission did not know which Esther Nyawatembo this was. Thereafter, following the media publication, the lawyer to the former first lady made a claim that the said flats were for the former first lady. We then invited her to come for an interview on Thursday, 7th July 2022, a date which the lawyers wrote informing us that it was not convenient for them. They proposed today, 12th July 2022 at 10 hours, which was also not convenient for us. As you are aware, the country is hosting the AU summit and following social media reports that some sections of society would want to raid the commission on this day, the interview has been postponed to a later date and we want to mention as DEC that we have a lot of respect for the former first lady as the mother of the nation. And in this regard, we would be comfortable to interview her from wherever she will be comfortable. All we want is to establish facts and bring this matter to a logical conclusion. It is unfortunate that the properties we are investigating have led us to her. And I'm sure none of you wants to be in my position right now. Nevertheless, we have to do a professional job. As the commission, we have responded to the lawyers, informing them of our unavailability to attend the matter today, and instead we have put the date forward. The nation shall be informed once the matter is concluded. On the second matter, on Friday, 8th July 2022, the Drug Enforcement Commission received information about some high-value vehicles which were parked in a yard in Musaka. These vehicles included a Lexus, Mercedes-Benz, BMW, Range Rover, two Toyota Land Cruisers and a Toyota Hyce. We then conducted an operation in which the said motor vehicles were seized and verifications of their ownership details immediately commenced. So far, the Commission has established the names in which these motor vehicles are registered, of which one is a company, and Mr. Ndambo, as alleged in the public media, is not a director or shareholder. None of the motor vehicles is registered in the names of James Ndambo, or my hometown as alleged. As a commission, we therefore wish to dismiss media reports that we are investigating the South African businessman in connection with these vehicles or indeed anything else. If, however, Mr. Ndapo claims that the said motor vehicles are his, we shall still record the necessary statements for us to conclude the matter professionally. Allow me to emphasize that the law is blind to color, race, and status. And for us as DEC, 
our work is driven by the intelligence information received with no malice at all. The Commission wishes to assure the general public that we are not playing politics, but are merely executing our mandate professionally without fear or favor. I thank you. <coughs> we'll allow for uh, three questions. I don't know if there's anyone with a question from... Hello, my name is Angela Nurenda, and you're watching Southern Classic Media. Among us. Yes, sir. My name is Tosha from JNDC. I just want to find out, uh, you're saying the vehicles were not registered in Mr. Ndambo or my hometown. So the, the details, in which company or which person's name are they registered when they were filled in Luzan? Uh, thank you for that question. Uh, I anticipated that it would come. And uh, I have printed copies of the details of these motor vehicles in case you want to publish them. Uh, we have one um, vehicle, a Toyota Land Cruiser, which uh, is, um, I think, was the importer is uh, Toyota Zambia. Uh, that's the, those are the details that um, our database is giving us. Uh, declared by Global Logistics, the other Toyota High, same Toyota Zambia, uh, Global Logistics, the Range Rover uh, for Joseph Chirwa, uh, I think it was, uh, that's the importer, then uh, the owners now, it's uh, Citron Zambia Limited, we have the Lexus, uh, registered in Garden Plaza, um, the other details you see them on, on, on the paper. I'll share this paper with you. We have uh, the Benz um, uh, under Yusuf Ali. We have the BMW under Sarago General Dealers. We have the Toyota Land Cruiser under David Jerry. None of them are in James Ndambo. So unless you tell me that you know that they are for James Ndambo, I'll be glad to further my investigations. I wanted to find out uh, who is the owner of the property where these vehicles are and secondly I didn't understand what you meant when you said that uh, you are ready to interview the first lady from anywhere. What did you mean? Do you mean if, if they say you invite her maybe from her residence, are you ready to do that as do you see? So first things first, uh, as you are aware this investigation uh, to do with these uh, high-value motor vehicles only started on Friday and there was a weekend and we still need more time to do our further investigations and hence I think most of you when you are calling me I was uh, saying please give us more time as investigators we feel like you are putting us in a box to do shoddy work so for us to do a professional job we need time so we, we still have to do further investigations and all the details once uh, co concluded will be shared with the former first lady, I think you heard from my statement, this is the mother of the nation. She was a first lady of this country, and we have a lot of respect for her. She is literally my mother. And so, uh, as I said, it's really unfortunate for me to be in this position that these particular flats that we, we passed on belong to the former first lady. But we have to do our job. And therefore, in regard to the respect of her status, we are ready as DEC, whether she will say she wants to be interviewed from her home, we are ready. All we want is to conclude this matter logically and professionally. The last question, please. Yes. Um, my name is Sula Yes, I'm uh, from Ms. I have a question on uh, first, uh, I think that we concern from some sympathizers in the first lady who are, who are saying, uh, uh, yesterday I think I also had a chat with the lawyer who are saying that maybe you have changed the, the date because they are the still investigating the matter and there is no evidence according to, to them. And uh, um, they are basically saying they are not ready to, uh, to investigate this said uh, matter. And uh, 
My other question is uh, on this issue, on the same flats. Uh, uh, I want to get it clear. Are they being investigated due to process of crime or they were just abandoned and no one came in and maybe there was uh, some error in there? Okay. With your indulgence, there is uh, one more. Uh, just. Mm. Okay. Yes, please. Good morning, ladies, Matumel from KBN uh, The other concern that is actually coming in from public is that perhaps you are sort of interfering in a uh, a role that you're not supposed to play as DEC, but be played by Zambia Revenue Authority in regards to the vehicles. Uh, could this be maybe driven uh, you know, to a witch hand of some kind? Uh, thank you very much. Uh, on the first question, as to whether as DEC we are ready or not ready, I think I've given you the background uh, to what leads to us pouncing on these flats. If you have a house that does not appear in uh, the Ministry of Land's uh, registry, um, you have given us a mandate as uh, investigators and uh, our duty is to do uh, a professional job like I've said. Uh, if a report comes to my table, uh, I have a duty to ensure that it's verified and we know where or who owns these properties, I deliberately referred you to the Financial Intelligence Center report for you to connect how um, perpetrators now of financial crimes are dumping the financial system and using cash straight into real estate, into motor vehicles, into even integration into uh, businesses. So now the investigation will not start from, oh, is there an illegal activity uh, who actually um, uh, is the perpetrator and what did they acquire? We start from the very end. We are trained financial investigators. And this is the modus operandi of most of the criminals right now, not stating that any of these investigations are saying these people are criminals. My job is to verify and at the end of the day conclude the matter. So for me, it's not about us not being ready. I think we are responsible citizens. We have a very high level meeting in the country this week. We wouldn't want to jeopardize that, especially that people want to take this out of context into politics and raise the commission. We are here to execute our mandate as financial investigators. Which mandate the Zambian people have given us? We are here to fight for the 19 million Zambians. So if we don't do our work, if we fold our arms and sit again, you will say we are selected, we are not doing our work. Then why should I get paid at the end of the month? So basically, it's people who talk, and we are not moved by any talks. As long as what we are doing on the ground is right, I think that is what uh, uh, covers us. Did we investigate these properties because they were uh, abandoned? Again, I think I have uh, indicated to you how investigations start. They can start from anywhere. And as long as the report has been brought to our attention, we will be able to verify as to who owns what. Even if today they come and tell me that uh, you all of a sudden you have these properties, the narration can be anything. It can be abandoned property. It can be, oh, Mary has properties that she cannot account for. It can be anything. My job is to verify and then clear your name. If you are the owner, my job is to either clear your name or take you for prosecution depending on the evidence on the ground. So we are not uh, doing this maliciously. Uh, that is out of the question. Okay. Uh, the last question was whether we are interfering in the role of uh, ZRA. You read the Mutual Evaluation Report 2019 for Zambia where the entire MLCFT regime was assessed. What was lacking? Coordination. So when we are interviewing, when we are dealing with such matters, there's a lot of collaboration and coordination with our sister institutions like the Zambia Revenue Authority that you should know about. If you look at just the definition of money laundering, it starts from a predicate offense. And a predicate offense can be anything. It can be tax evasion. It can be corruption. It can be any crime that will give you a financial benefit. So we are not interfering in any person's role. We are carrying out our mandate as given by the law. 
So we are not interfering, we are basically co-deleting. I hope I've answered it. Thank you so much colleagues and thank you for coming. I hope that we'll be given a chance to do our work professionally after this so that what we give you is something that is concrete and not pieces. Thank you so much. Alright, that's all right for you today, lovely viewers. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you, lovely viewers. Once again, I go by the name of Mutatim Pondum. I love you, peace. I gotta go.